I'm sure that many of you, if not all, have heard of the Balfour Declaration. Now, growing up as an Israeli, you would think that the Balfour Declaration is one of the Ten Commandments. That it came down the mountain with Moses, and that Balfour was some kind of, an, of a prophet or a saint. Every city, almost every city in Israel, has a Balfour Street or a Balfour Plaza. And growing up, you'd think that Balfour was, you know, at least a prophet, maybe a king, a Jewish king. <laughs> and what is the Balfour Declaration? Lord Balfour, who was the Foreign Secretary of Great Britain, promising a Jewish millionaire by the name of Rothschild, Palestine for the Jewish people. In other words, one white European racist offering another white European racist, the country that belongs to somebody else. Neither one of them had anything to do with Palestine. But of course, these were days where it was okay, it was completely acceptable for white Europeans to take the country of non-Europeans and do with it as they will. Of course, this is still going on in many, in many places. So that's the Balfour Declaration.